Spotify, download it, stream it, do what you do, check it out, rock with us, we rock with y'all. This is what we do best, man. From the east, the west, the north, the south, we rock with us, we rock with you, let's go. What's good? This is Kelby Cannon, publisher of Making It Magazine, here to let all my independent artists, producers, and DJs know about MakingItMag.com. Not only are we Atlanta's number one magazine for the urban music industry, but we're a national platform that provides real opportunities, real exposure, and real industry connections. Just log on to makingitmag.com. Sign up for your membership and start submitting music to get booked on major shows, magazine features, radio interviews, sponsorships, and more great opportunities. That's makingitmag.com. Doing dope stuff for dope artists. Ten years strong. You are tuned to K100 Radio here All right. on R&B. Yeah. K100, you bastards. Uh-huh. Yeah, the ladies in the building now. You know what it is. Yeah. K100 Radio. I am your host, Blizzom. Thanks for tuning in to the show. This is a direct line interview. You know what this is. Well, we chop it up one-on-one with our special guest. And the ladies are about to represent. We've got China Vaughn in the building. China, what's going on? Welcome to the broadcast. What's good? What's good? What's up? Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Tell everybody who we rocking with right now. It's your girl, China Vaughn. That's V-O-N-N-E. Spelled C-H-Y-N-A. Get it right. And I'm you're tuned in with K100 Radio. Yeah, let's get it. Right. So we're glad to have you on the show. Um... You know, as I was scouring the Making It Magazine uh, website looking for some dope music uh, to present to our audience over here, uh, you know, I always try to take a, a special look at, at some of the female artists, R&B or hip-hop. And um, I came across your video. Uh, I was like, yo, this is dope. She got some bars. She's spitting straight up. You know what I'm saying? And um, I got to give her a shot. I went I went to the YouTube and checked out the video for Run For Us and I uh, heard the songs and I was like, yo, Impressive, I like it. So, first of all, congratulations on being landed for this um, uh, opportunity. Uh, I'm glad that you submitted and put your music over there on making the magazine. And um, you know, it's real good. I love helping out the um, the female artists, man, because it's just not it's not enough of y'all being represented in the mainstream, and that's just facts. You know what I'm saying? And um, right. You know, we got to do something about that. So we're trying to do our part over here. You feel me? So uh, go ahead and tell everybody first okay. of all about your grind. How long have you been at it? Oh, well, I used to do music uh, like back 2010 to 2013, but then I stopped and I um, I just took took a little break. I just got back into it maybe December of 2016 is when I really started getting back into it. And then last year is really, uh, really when I went full force with uh, the China Von movement. Mm, so what made you take a break? You just kind of needed a, uh, to step back. Sometimes, I mean, if for independent artists, even major artists, they take breaks all the time. So we definitely are allowed because we got a lot more real life shit going on. You know what I'm saying? But what made you uh, step <laughs> back and how hard was it to come back? Um, I actually took a break because I, I had a son. Um, I got pregnant and had, had my first kid. Oh, okay. And, um, you know, I was focused on being a mom and then I went to school and did a bunch right. of things. And, um, uh, the biggest reason why I really took a step back is because I don't know if anybody's ever heard of pregnancy brain. I could not write while I was pregnant. It was not working. Really? So I just took a break. and Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with me, but it was just like <laughs> nothing was coming to me. Um, but then, you know, people started asking, you know, why? Where are you at? Why are you not doing music? What happened? So, you know, I put, you know, like little old freestyles over beats and people started feeling them again. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get back into this. And, um... You know, I had a producer that was, like, waiting to work with me for the longest. And um, when I told him I was back in, me and him linked up. And then it was just history. I started moving from there. That's dope. Well, first of all, I can tell you this right here. Um, as, a, as, 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 a, as a male, you know, having a baby, that's a good reason. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, listen, <laughs> because, because well, here's the, here's the unique thing about, uh, you know, when you deal with um, in, uh, female artists, and especially female independent artists, you guys have a, as, as women, you guys have a whole set of issues that we just don't deal with as men. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we just don't. Right. Like, from just sexual harassment in, in, in the industry and just a whole bunch, well, you know, crazy stuff that goes on being a female artist, having kids, being a mother, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just things that we don't deal with. And so it's really be, to be commended that you were able to step back, but then, you know, come back into the game because I personally have seen 
a lot of people in the industry uh, that are females who once they have kids they just kind of bow out all the way out and never come back and that's cool because sometimes right. you know kids take priorities and you know you know they didn't ask to be here but um uh, it's really dope that you you know saying that hey that, that was the reason why but that's a great reason and uh big respects on you deciding to just you know put your hat back in the game that is very hard because some of us some so, a lot of men don't have no real excuse like that they just fucking lazy you know what i'm saying right. <laughs> having a baby having a baby is a good reason to hold on for a second fam let me handle this over here you know what i'm saying right Absolutely. and then get my shit and come back you feel me so uh big respect to you on that you feel me so um so uh but now that you're back and you're back in it and um mm -hmm. what 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 changed the second go around that you came back like what what's different is it harder this time uh you know um it's actually easier and i'll tell you why number one because i'm not trying so hard mm -hmm. when i first was doing music i was too busy trying to be what i thought i was supposed to be i felt like you know as a female in again we're supposed to be sexual and you know we're supposed to be this sex symbol and that's right. pretty much what people wanted at the time and that's what i was doing and i felt like i had to always reach and try to be this person that you know i really wasn't and also, I had experiences, you know, I got conned and people got like thousands of dollars out of me. And so I kind of came into this a little bit smarter, wiser and a little bit more prepared. Um, the biggest thing is being myself now. I'm, I, my music now is completely a reflection of me. I don't rap about nothing I don't know about. You will never hear me talk about Benzes or having, you know, millions of dollars and right. iced out in jewelry or nothing like that because that's not my life. Right. You know what I mean? I can talk about being dope. I can talk about being, you know, a mom. I can talk about my everyday life, heartbreak, love, all that stuff. And I have fun doing it. So it's, I feel like it's a lot easier this time. Um, it's hard as far as traveling and, you know, having to be away from my son. That's probably the hardest part. Right. But as far as actually doing it this time, I feel like it's way easier. Man, you know, you, 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 you just, let me just unpack uh, everything that you just said because there was so much there. First of all, <laughs> you're this is no seriously. This is okay. This is this is a trifecta day for for direct line interviews. Sometimes when we do direct line interviews, we only do one and then and that's it. But you know, a lot of days we do multiple direct line interviews. So you know, if you were listening or watching the promo, you seen it was two other artists that came on this particular uh, block, and all of you guys, it's weird that all of you are saying. Um, I'm not trying to make music about doing stuff that I have no idea about. And it's crazy because if you look, everybody has, rap has this huge stigma and rightfully so because all of the mainstream outlets keep putting out music that, that, that reflects a certain thing. But I'm hearing all these up and coming artists tell me back to back to back, yo, I'm really not trying to do all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm really just trying to be me right. and do me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and then, and then let me unpack the part where you say, you know, uh, you came into it thinking you had to be sexual and had to do all that, and you're like now, now mm -hmm. you're good at maybe, maybe, maybe being a mother and having a son, you know, changed that for you. I don't know if that was the case or not, but maybe it was, maybe it had something to do mm -hmm. with it. And 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 if it is, you can, if not, correct me, but still, maybe. Um, but That's, I mean, it's, it's it's part of it. It's right. part of it. Right. So so coming back and now you're like, you know, I don't even feel the need to do all that. And that's cool, but then we look at the top two quote unquote female artists that are getting all the airplay, and that's everything they personify. You feel what I'm saying? And yes. you know, yes. you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a rap city kind of guy, so I'm I'm here for everything you're saying. You feel what I'm saying? Like gotcha. that's that's who I right. think is at the top right now in my mind. You know what I'm saying? As far as just right. you know, that's on the mainstream side. You know, um, but it's weird that you're saying all that and going against the grain of the industry. Um, and it's just weird to hear all these independent artists and not even the female artists that we're interviewing today is saying the exact same thing. So you do understand that that may make your path a little bit more difficult, right? Just being real and being honest. It, it's honestly, it's okay. Because at the end of the day, you know, I do look at these mainstream artists and that's what they promote now. Don't get me wrong. You will find some, you know, sexual stuff. I'm a woman and I am very comfortable in my sexuality. I love myself. So it's not that I completely shy away from that, but that shouldn't be the forefront. That shouldn't, that's not what leads you when you walk through the door. You know what I'm saying? Every time I do a show somewhere or people hear my music for the first time, when they see me, it's always, oh, she bad. And she got bars too. And, it, and that, that, oh, she bad always comes first. 
Right. And that's the part that I that you know I want to break. It shouldn't be she bad. It should be yo. She is a dope ass artist. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be anything else tied to that. Now me having an image and looking good, great. That's great for TV and the mainstream and all of that. But at the end of the day, I want people to actually want to listen to my music, not more so just look at me. And it's hard to try. I've learned now that it's harder. You know, I I look at my statistics and everything like that. And a lot of my fans live are men. And they're my fans right. more so because of how I look, not really because they think I'm a dope artist and out here buying all my music. But at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to be yourself. You know how hard it is to keep up a lie? You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, I look at these mainstream artists that are getting jumped, beat up, checked because they out here lying in the street. And that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, whatever I say, you can hold me to it. If I say I'm doing this, trust and believe you can hold me to it. If I say I got a gun, trust and believe I must have one. You will never hear me say nothing else unless <laughs> I can actually prove it. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. It, it's too hard to hold up a lie and be something that you're not. It's like it's, you have to be a whole other character, and that's not what I want. Yeah, good stuff. Good answer. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm here for all of it. I am. You know, that, that I created this whole thing that we're doing right now, K100 Radio, to be able to give artists who feel that way a voice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it is like, and, uh, oh, shout out to uh, Brandon. Let me see. Brandon Barnes. Uh, they, they they over there representing for you on the Facebook live feed. You feel me? Shout out to them. Shout out to Lex. Shout out to Buns Johnson. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's checking us out on the Facebook live feed. I'm totally with you. And I'm totally here for all of it. It's it's, and I think that that is the reason why, um, you know, some of the so many people feel like you can only have one female artist, or if there's two female artists, mm -hmm. oh, they got to be beefing. You feel what I'm saying? They, they got to they gotta yeah. do a diss song. It's like it's completely ridiculous with the female side of hip hop at the very top echelon. But I mean, it is. I know it's because hype, gossip. Bullshit. It's the reason why we it's, we we live in the age of reality TV and shit like that just sells. Mm -hmm. It makes people click a button on a fucking right. mouse or on a phone screen and right. boom. You know what I'm saying? And so they're gonna force feed you that bullshit. But I'm so glad to hear you know you say all of those words and it, and it completely matches up with what I saw when I was scouring through the Making It Magazine wire page and I saw the Run Forest video. Mm -hmm. I just saw a female who was, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, look, I mean, I, look, I'm a, I'm a guy. I looked at you. I was like, oh, yeah, she cute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She looked good, but that that really wasn't why you're here because you're not on K1 Radio right, right now. You're on K1 Radio because I was like, oh, shit, those bars, though, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're here. And that's, that's, that's what my job is as a program director. But then again, there are a lot of people who are in my position on the upper echelon who, like you said, they need the visual because now everything is visual. Everything is live. Everything is social media. Everything is, you know, they're not just going to, it's not just radio. It's, it's, you got to see everything now because we have smartphones. Everybody's connected. So it's, it's, it's really hard. And um, I just got to commend you and give you some props on, on standing your ground on, on, on everything that you just said because I agree with you 100%. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. Thank you. you. You're here because of the music. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's a plus that you look good, like you said. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. On top of that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, we're going to get ready to get into this music and these videos. You right. are tuned to the K100 Radio, Hip Hop, and R&B. Yeah. K100, you bastards. K100 Radio. I am your host, Blizzard. Thanks, buddy, for tuning in to the show. Shout out to my people that's rocking with us on Instagram, my Facebook live crew. If you're listening to us live right now on TuneIn Radio, iTunes Radio, if you have downloaded our mobile app, we really appreciate you. Thank you very much, man. Tell somebody, tell a friend to tell a friend. We're talking to China Vaughn right here on K100 Radio. And uh, we found her by way of Making It Magazine's The Wire feed. If you um, want to know more about Making It Magazine, make sure you go over there and check those guys out. Uh, real briefly, before we jump into this video, let's go ahead and touch on that so we can get to the music and keep it rolling once we do. Um, your your uh, affiliation and your membership over at Making the Magazine, what made you decide to pull the trigger and become a member over there and post up on The Wire? China Vaughn? I'm here. Yeah, what what, what made you um decide to be a member with uh, Making the Magazine and uh, get the uh, and post uh, your video and opportunity on The Wire? What made you want to do that? Well, um, being everything by myself, like promoting and everything like that, I always look for outlets that 
help artists and that are not scams because trust me there are a lot of scams out here that they say oh we do this that and the third and um i was on making a mag last year um but i had to step back because i was doing other things so i had pulled out but i got back into it this year um just because i believed in the platform i seen a couple of things that they were doing um i got on you know i finally got to do one of their one of the showcase that was promoted on the site. And then another artist that I'm familiar with, Rio, he's super dope. Shout out to him. Yeah. He's up there. And, um, you know, it's kind of like that word of mouth. You see somebody else and, you know, if they speak good on it, then you're going to follow suit. Like, I didn't feel like, you know, it was a scam or anything like that. So, and so far, obviously, it's been dope and it's working out. Absolutely. All right. So let's jump into this music. All right. I want to do the video first. Let's go ahead and just, let's go ahead and hit these folks, these people that's over here watching on Facebook okay. Live and all that. Let's go ahead and introduce them to you. So tell me about this video, Run For Us. Tell me about it, the concept, the video, the song, everything, and then we're going to jump right into it. Okay, well, the song, obviously, Run For Us, was produced by Dope Boys Music. Um, when I first heard the beat, all I had on my, on my notes was, who that chick with the dopest? And it just sat there. It sat there for about a week because that's the, I got like this old school boom bap vibe to it. And I was like, oh, I got to start it off like an MC would, you know, start me off. Right. And then it kind of flowed from there. And then as far as the hook with the Run For It, for some reason that juvenile song, Run For It, was in my head. And I kind of was like, run for it. Oh, I like that. I like that. Right. And the song was pretty much, that was like my entrance back into, you know, hey, this is trying to buy music because I got to just, I was just openly speaking, talking about me. And it was just coming back in saying, you know, you can hate on me. You can say whatever you want. But if you ain't coming with nothing, then you better run because I'm coming. Yeah. And, 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 and the video was shot here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, that's why I live now. This is not my hometown, but shout out to the two six, um, because y'all been mess y'all been fucking with me hard. Um, but it was shot here. Um, it was you know a couple of friends in the video. Nothing too major. You know the video was just pretty much supposed to showcase me and my skill coming back into the game. All right, let's check this out, man. This is Run for us. This is um, this is a really dope video. And again, let's check out these bars, though. You dig? <laughs> K100 you radio. are tuned to K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B. Yeah, who that chick with the dopest style? I go by China Vine, I got your girl going wild. And my flow beat is zanious, I'm the brainiest. Put me in a straight jacket, see, cause I'm the craziest. Uh, I'm a lyricist, so my spots on lock. While them gimmicks fading out, China V still pops. Like, three years later, and my old shit knocks. Like, started from the bottom, now I'm climbing to the top. I was on the rise, and then I let it fall. And now these bitches fucking up the game and got no care at all. Talking about these niggas, too. How the hell they make it out of middle school? Out here looking like somebody. Daughter, shit is pitiful, and I ain't trying to ridicule. Only stating facts. Compare to me, they mean a skew, just trying to adapt. So they end up in the same crowd, end up with the same sound, end up on the cover, on them covers with them same clowns. I ain't never think the hate will be this real. real. I ain't even know, I ain't even got a deal. Yeah. But if you coming at me, better bring it with a gun, cause if not, better run for it, run for it, run. I ain't never think the hate will be this real. real. Now who shot ya? You better run and tell that And I ain't nothing big, but I'm a giant on the track Like V5, 4, 4, man, these rappers better run Better come correct, cause when I check the ball, I level them I'm never done, I'ma take a break, I never clock out Oh, they sleeping on me, wake them up, I bring the cock out Throw a couple jazz, but I reciprocate a knockout Show a little class and I obliterate a dropout Educated, dedicated, yeah, I get a little faded Only off the trees, I need the weed to keep me levitating Hesitating, they ain't about that life, they better stay calm Causing all this mayhem like my flowing show was stay far when I stay on, they know I keep the strap like I'm a lesbian Thinking it's a game, so I run over these pedestrians Grand theft bitches lacking personality Stop with all the gimmicks, cause the physics lack mortality I ain't never think the hate will be this real I ain't even know, I ain't even got a deal But if you coming at me, better bring it with a gun Cause if not, better run for it, run for it, run I ain't never think the hate will be this real I ain't even know, I ain't even got a deal But if you coming at me, better bring it with a gun Cause if not, better run for it, run for it 
this run. Listen, I killed them softly cause they hardly put it any effort. And now they salty cause I'm back and still on level X. But, and I ain't worried, I ain't stressing about these new additions. See, I've been fresh, they've been expired, talking used condition. And I ain't losing feather, but I'ma ruffle them. Shut it down, all these barking bitches, I'ma muzzle them. Trigger finger itching, I ain't even got a badge on. Daughter of an educated brother, so I brag on. I ain't never think the hate will be this real. real. Forgot that I really do do this I don't need a beat cause my heat shoot through swift I've been on repeat since 13 and I ain't moved since Dropped a couple bars up the party, keep a fuse lit Hitching like a fiend and I relax back in the rhyme book Oh, I got a mad they acting hard, I know they mind shook Yeah, I'm with the mob, but we be deeper than some pussy Yeah, the circle's small, but they on edge and we get pushy <laughs> K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B. Oh. Yeah. K100, you bastard. And I just caught the whole vampire theme and all of it. It's just, it hit me right then, right then, right then. China Von, this is K100 Radio. I'm your host, Blizzard. We are live at Direct Line Interview. Uh, of course, you better run for us. Run for us. If you see it coming with these bars, if you ain't ready, <laughs> just shit together. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Welcome. We're back. This is a direct line interview. We chopping it up with China Von over here on K100 Radio. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with us, man. Big up to everybody who's over there on the Facebook Live uh, watching and uh, giving some commentary. Uh, appreciate the support over here. All right. Um, so uh, I hope I got you getting some uh, flame emojis and stuff like that over there on the Facebook Live feed. Of people rocking with it, and some of my people over <laughs> thank here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, my pe- my Instagram people. Some of them on Instagram, they can't see the video, but they're listening, so they like bars. She's got bars. I'm seeing bars and flame emojis on Instagram Live too. So big ups to those guys. You know what I'm saying? All right. So uh, first of all, uh, that was again that was a dope video, and that was what caught my eye over on the um on the uh, making the mag site on the wire. I saw that video, and um it was it was it was crisp. It was good cinematography. Um, it had a theme. And um, also, I just like the song itself. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, what, right. what, what caught my eye over there. So what's what's next for you? What's coming up? Well, let me clarify because I, when I when you asked about the video, I have two Run Forest videos out. Uh-huh. Um, that was actually the second one I did, and we just did that one just because we wanted another visual and it, we wanted to have fun. And shout out to Stash for being in the video. But that one was actually shot in Atlanta. Um, just wanted to clarify that. Oh, okay. All right. Also, <laughs> but, um, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> as far as what's, what's, what's going on next for me, um, I got some things that, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep under wraps and, you know, you're just going to have to watch and see. But the next thing I'm about to do, I'm about to drop this super, 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 super dope mixtape called Red Lip Gang. Um, volume one is the first, you know, of a, of a series that we plan on doing. Mm-hmm. And it's a, a combination of original music and me just slaughtering some dope industry beats. And it's really something I just wanted to do for the people because, you know, being a mom and working and doing all things happen slow around here. So I wanted to just keep feeding, feeding the music and, and, you know, keep them wanting more before, you know, while I plan on the album and everything else behind the scenes. Um, so that's pretty much the next major thing. I got a bunch of shows. All, all I do is travel. I'm always up and down these roads traveling, doing shows here and there, just trying to spread the China Bomb music, try to spread my name, um, you know, get some new ears and things like that. So right now, that's all I'm doing. It's just it's, it's pushing, pushing forward, about to get some new videos dropped. Um, like I said, the mixtape, and that's pretty much what I got going on. All right. Uh, where, where were you from originally? I know you said you were in Fayetteville, but where, where are you from? I'm a, I was raised um, for the majority of my life in Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. All right. So shout out to Rhode Island. I, you might be the, I don't know. Yeah, shout out to the 401. Yeah, you might be the first. Brick, so you already know. You might be the first <laughs> Rhode Island artist we've ever interviewed. Somebody that was from Rhode Island on K100 Radio. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Probably. that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? But big up to you. Tell me tell me about the uh, the, the, uh, the the region, though. Tell me about, uh, you know, Carolina's got a lot of dope talent, man. Both of them, north and south. We've been there yeah. for several different events, yeah. and we've always come across some dope dope talent up in the Carolinas. Tell me about that, uh, the locale, being, a, being an artist, and, and what's it like for independent artists grinding in that area where you're at? Uh, 
Um, it's kind of like it's fifty fifty. Mm-hmm. Um, you always have, you know. It, I feel like there are a lot of people that are trying to do so much for us out here. Um, a lot of people that are trying to give us platforms and trying to push us to the top. Um, but then there's also, you know, you always run into that problem to where there's not enough support. You know, there's not enough people pushing. Everybody wants to be a rapper, but nobody wants to support. Like you go to these shows and, you know, rappers will come perform and then leave while, you know, everybody else is there to see everybody. And, you know, it's just that lack of support here. But trust, there is so there is a lot going on in North Carolina. There's so many platforms. There's so many dope artists. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of opportunities. I mean, I was just nominated for a Carolina Music Award last year. Didn't even know about it. You know, people were like, yo, congratulations. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, I didn't even know anything about it. But there's, there's just so much available to the artists. And you just really got to, you know, network. Networking is probably the most important thing here. Just meeting people and networking and building relationships with yeah. these people. And, and keeping yourself rev- relevant. Going to these shows and doing... You're never too good for an open mic. You're never too good for those things. Go out here and keep, you know, keep showcasing yourself. Because you never know who is in the crowd. Never. Yep, that's very true. Big ups to you on that grind. Let's check out this next song. We've got another song before we get ready to wrap this thing up over here with China Vaughn. We've got Real One. Tell me about this song before we get ready to play it. What's going on with this one right here? Hello? China? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, tell me about... I couldn't I'm, hear you. Sorry. Okay, okay I'm, getting, I'm getting ready to play the uh, one last song. We've got the real one. Tell me about uh, Real One, this song. Uh, give oh. me a breakdown. Okay, well, that one showcases my other side, but I mean, I, I still, you know, I'm still rapping, but I'm, I also sing, so you get a little bit of that on it, and it's, it's my other side, it's the more sensual, the more feminine side, um, it's not, like, in your face, ass, pussy, titties, it's, you know, talking about finding that real one, so, you know, with so many frauds and everybody lying, everybody wanted to put on this char- charade of, this is me and you know you're this instagram person but in real life you're this that and the third the song is pretty much just being about looking for that person who's real who's gonna keep it real with you no matter what all right let's check this one out before we get ready to roll out this is a direct line interview right here on k100 radio this is china vaughn all right you guys are gonna check this one out this is a real one she says she's a real one we definitely know she's got bars she says she's gonna give us something else on this one so let's check this out this is k100 radio <laughs> You yeah. are tuned to the K100 Radio Hip Hop and R&B. So tell me you're rich and you want to know that it real head to toe, baby, nothing's 
for a minute. I leave an imprint on your mama, forget it. You're ready to leave with a queen. Let's get it. interview on K100 Radio. K100, you bastards! Hey! That was, a, that was another one. That one was someone's, uh, Sheena Austin on uh, Facebook said, that's a vibe. It's a vibe. You know what I'm saying? For that one right there. Uh, China. Uh, China Vaughn right now on K100 Radio. Before we get ready to go out of here, um, uh, uh, give everybody all the social media information and ways they can check out um, your music and find your videos and all that kind of stuff. Let the people know. Okay, okay. Well, first things first is www.chinavonmusic.com. Um, that's my website. You can find everything there. Um, instead of me sitting here listing everything, because I'm China Von Music on Instagram and China Von on Twitter, if you Google China Von, you'll find everything. Music, videos, because there's only one China Von. <laughs> you won't find nobody else. So just Google me. You'll find everything you need. All right, good stuff. Congratulations. Uh, keep grinding. You feel me? Like I said, you never know where opportunities will come from. Uh, big ups to our people over there at Making a Magazine for creating another platform and, you know, uh, uh, having some dope Absolutely. artists over there, you know what I'm saying, that we can come through and, and check out, man. And, you know, just keep doing you, man. You know what I mean? Uh, take care of little man for us, you know what I'm saying, and, and raise us another king out here in these streets. That's what we need. You know what I'm All saying? All right. Definitely. Uh, big ups to you, man. This was China Vaughn. This was dope. Dope music. If you see her, you know the drill. Run for us. Run for us. Run. All right. <laughs> All right. K100 Radio. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip hop and R&B. All right. Again, thanks, everybody, for rocking with us over here at K100 Radio. I really appreciate all the support and everybody that's rocking with us, man. Everybody's, um, you know, just really been dope. And um, big ups again to, uh, to Making It Magazine, uh, BDL for Life. You know, everybody over there on all these other platforms uh, that provide uh, really great opportunities uh, for independent artists. We love working with those kind of people, man, at the end of the day uh, to help push the culture forward. You feel what I'm saying? So big ups to all of those guys. You dig? Congratulations. A round of applause for those guys. Salute. (laughs) 